Hey guys, what is going on? Booster Kings here with another Pokemon video. And in today's video, we are doing a bit of a throwback for this channel. So this channel, I have been doing this for maybe five years or so. And we started off doing weighing videos because I didn't... All right, a little bit of a backstory. I didn't have a lot of money back in the day. And I couldn't afford to go out and buy a booster box. I couldn't afford to go do that. So I went to the shops and this is do not I do not recommend so you could go in with your scales and talk to the people and you could just weigh them out so I did that for a little bit and that was like the primal clash era maybe phantom forces type type place and yeah I got a lot of good cards I did a lot of openings back in the day and yeah so Every time a set releases, and I haven't done this for a while because I haven't opened up a lot of the recent sets, um, I do, is this, or can you weigh this? Is this weighable? Is the set weighable? So pretty much the same as what we're doing here. Is this set weighable? And I've opened up, what, 18 packs of Team Up, and um, that's just one side. If you guys want to check out part number three of this booster box, because I've done two parts already. If you guys want to check out part number three, make sure to click up in the annotations right here. Maybe it's out, maybe it's not. Who knows? I'm not sure yet. But definitely part number one and two if you haven't seen them already. But pretty much we're going to open up, I don't know how many packs. We're going to do a bit of weighing, maybe we might grab 10 out of here. We'll weigh them up, see what the difference is. We'll grab them off one side only because off the first side of this booster box, I'm just going to... I'm just going to count these real quick. So we got, we'll say four ultra rares and what? Four ultra rares and two hollows. So that's, that's not bad at all. But the trick is with these, and if I can grab them, the trick is what they try and do is they use two different codes, right? So this code, I think, and I'm going to do it on camera right now but I think it weighs less than the other code. Or it might even weigh more. I'm not 100% sure. We will find out momentarily. So that one is 0.25 of, or 1.25 grams. And then the green one is 1.41. So they have, they have changed it so you can't weigh them, but we will still see anyway. So, we're going to open up this box, we're going to get probably 10 packs out, we're going to open up all 10 packs if the camera doesn't fall off the table, because I've got this light set up in a weird spot where I'm not a big fan of it, but um, I had to put this Pokemon card there so it wouldn't give those weird shines, but it's just, it's very difficult to go overhead and I need to get a new one and it's just frustrating me. But if you guys are interested, I did purchase this one from... Uh, was Palmer store the it'll be in the description as well with my social medias uh, go check that one out so let's grab out grab out three from the middle three from this front one from the middle one from the other front how many is that is that eight that's eight and then we'll just go one out of the middle of each one so there's random ten this is very awkward with this light very very awkward i wish i had my softbox but i don't have it operational yet i think i think that's just all right maybe i can i can i can deal with that that's way better that is a hundred percent better it was just a little bit loose all right there we go we have our packs and i will probably speed this part up because i'll just weigh them and i'll show you and i'll show you the different weights um, for a couple of them but i'll speed it up a little bit and we'll go from there Okay, so they have been weighed now, and I must admit, there was a couple of heavy ones. I will, these ones that were the lightest, so they were, what, 22.06, uh, and the other one was 22.06. Okay, so those two are the lightest, and then the heaviest side was 22.12. And then we got some that were in the middle, 
that were okay no no uh, my bad i put that in the wrong pile so that one was the lightest sorry my bad let me see what this one was okay so sorry my piles were mixed up so those ones were the middle those ones were the lightest and then these couple were the heaviest we're gonna open up them all and because we should be guaranteed a, a pull at least um we're gonna see which ones we get so we got the the lightest by maybe like point z this is this is point not a gram not a tenth of a gram but a one hundredth of a gram so it's relatively nothing these it's very very minimal these are relatively unweighable but we will still get to open up pokemon cards and we'll go for one of the lightest first and we'll see what we get and straight off the bat we are looking at a green code so we're not looking at anything you guys can go check that one out on my instagram uh it was just a mimikyu in a bronzong or bronzor i should say and then just that so nothing out of that pack let's go for a heavy pack let's go for it was like maybe just under a tenth a tenth of a gram there's a code four and then two what am i trying to do so let's put that one over there and that one i can give away on my instagram Let's go. We have a Weedle, a Helioptile, a Execute, Ferroseed, a Meowth, Energy, a Water Memory, Golduck, a Dana, a Pancham, and another Charizard. So I got that one in part number two, and I absolutely love that one. So I will count that as something, but it was still not a ultra rare. So let's go with the middle, the middle size pack, and let's see. Let's see what is in this one so that's a code card for you guys let me know in the comment section below if you guys are getting these codes we have a Poochiana, a Alolan Geodude, almost a Golem, <laughs> a Paras, Joltik, a Blitzel, a Energy, Golduck, Dana, a Spiritomb, a Nidoran or Nidorino and a Bronzong to finish that one off so again nothing in that pack so let's go again for the lightest pack We have a cold card. Four and then two. I really think I, re I wrecked that. A Lolan Geodude, a Bronzong, a Dratini, Tentacool, a Ponetta, a Energy, Kabuto, a Fairy Charm, Oob, a Charmeleon, a Lugia Reverse Holo, and a Lugia Holo. Look at that. Same pack. So that has to be a rare. Reverse Holo Rare and the Holo Rare. So that was our first pull out of these packs and that was from the lightest pack now we don't have any more lightest packs but who knows i don't i don't think it's anything let's open up this pack here this is our um one of the heaviest ones out of this bunch of 10 i know it's not very accurate but it's kind of just like a pretty much they made it unweighable now but they've made it not fun by putting those type of codes in it like the different colored maybe maybe just put thicker thicker stuff in it maybe put thicker i don't know cardboard or i don't know how you make it like because that one's a little bit it has to be it's it's thicker than the other one maybe just do that but print the same thing on it and just a kabutops on the end because it kind of just ruins the fun because i will i will say this because i don't if you guys don't know already, the green ones on the back have Redeem on them and the white ones have TCGO. And it's quite sad that they've done that because it, you can't... So from both ways, you kind of know if you're going to get something or not, which is which is quite sad. But anyways, that's what they want to do. I've voiced my opinion. Everyone else has voiced their opinion. It's quite sad. But hey, what can you do? And we have a white coat from the heaviest pack. So I'm quite excited to see what we get out of this one. So we have a Ferroseed, a Charmander, Helioptile, a Mankey, Vulpix, a Energy, Falafi, a Omanyte, a Tauros, a Pupita, and a Zangus Hollow out of the heavy pack. So there we go. We got one out of the light pack and we got one out of the heaviest pack. Let's go the other heavy or another heavy pack because there's a couple of them. I keep saying heavy pack, but it doesn't really matter. There is a code card for you guys. 
four and then two. And then we have a Puchiana, a Alolan Geodude, a Bronzong, a Dratini, a Tentacool, Energy, a Return Label, Kangaskhan, a Cosmoam, a Puchiana Reverse, and a Zeb Striker. I haven't seen that one in a while. I remember it back when I was opening up like base set black and white. Oh, take me back. All right, let's go for another light one. The lightest of all of them. This is just for my fun, to be honest. It's just a bit of fun to do this, to see to see if they fixed their game, because they definitely did, and they stopped the weighing, because if you go back to base set, oh my god, you can definitely weigh every, every set up until, oh, maybe... Where did they stop it? It would have been like, Ancient Origins you can... Like, break through, break point? I still think you can there. I think it might have been, um... Almost a Steam Siege. So, anyways, we have two packs to go. They were the heavy ones. So, who knows? We might get something, we might not get anything. And right there, TCGO, a white code. So, we are guaranteed something. Can we... Can we get out of the hollow trend? Who knows? Oh, let me know what you guys think it'll be in the comment section. We have a pointy out and a Hooper GX. Yes, I do not have this one yet. That is awesome. Check that one out with Rogue Ring and Dark Strike. And Devilish Hands. Devilish Hands GX. That is a awesome card right there please hit the like button for that. And if you guys haven't already, hit that notification bell if you guys want to see my uploads because I'm back uploading. So there is the last code of this video. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. I really do appreciate everything. And make sure to voice your opinions down in the comment section below of what you think about weighing and what you think they have done and what you think they should change. I think they should change these stupid, these stupid codes. Why have them... A different color why not just have them all the same we have a Pidgeot to finish that one off why not just have them all the same and then just different weights because obviously you can do it because we've weighed them before this one is this one seems a lot thinner and this one seems a lot thicker but yeah we have we just weighed them at the start of the video and they are different weights so that's my opinion and that's what I think about weighing that's what I think about what they should do to get rid of the because it kind of just ruins the hype of the pack when you look at the back, when you look at the code, and it's just like, well, it's kind of ruined the, ruined the pack because I already know what I'm going to get. So anyways, let's do a bit of a recap. We got a Hooper GX, a Zangoose, a Lugia Reverse Hollow, and out of the Lugia pack, and then that awesome looking Charizard. So if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you in my next Pokemon video. Peace out, guys.